Okay, 8.30 in the morning in the kingdom. We're off to an early start and it's freaking windy. I am pointing east that way. The camera is pointing you guys west that way. Oh, that way. Okay, so this is the Bismarck cat behind me here. He was underwater for three years and he went down running so he bent his connecting rods and all that kind of stuff. Just a minor detail, but that's no problem. So as you can see on the ground here, all right, we're using the pink extension cord. I know it's pink because it's a light gray and we have it plugged into the block heater here. So this is gonna warm up the motor to make it start. And I'm wearing my fancy jacket here with the King of Obsolete. This is my go to town jacket, but I don't like it because it's a feather filled jacket or something. I don't know, can we see that? Okay, all those little white prickly things poke everywhere. It gets everywhere. When you wash it, it gets even worse. It's terrible. So I can't wear this jacket naked because it pokes my skin. Oh, okay, when I'm wearing my Speedo and this jacket, I can't wear this jacket because it's just uncomfortable. So we won't be buying this product line again because it's just terrible product. I don't know how people have pillows with this feather filled crap or whatever, but oh well, this is minor detail. That's my rant for the today. I'm still getting over my $42,000 coffee table, but oh well, it had to be ended. Oh well, it's supposed to be on its way north here. We're not sure. Okay, but I'll let Rodney worry about that because that's his job. He has to handle the things in the south. All right, I better go find the dogs. They're not around. I don't see them anywhere in the video here. Maybe they ran away. Oh, well. Okay, I got my Lily Tomlin mic on the chinny chin chin. So hopefully you guys can hear this. I'm not sure we have a little bit of a breeze, but the little green forklift is still here. Like when your mother-in-law comes for a visit and just kind of doesn't leave, but oh, well. It's been busy down south for Dr. Hook towing with all the snow and everything and everybody's having fun, but that's the main thing. Okay, so we know he's not going to start, so we got the Bunsen burner out here. I don't know if we can see it with getting too close, but there it is. The Bunsen burner's heating the motor, that's why the wheels were turned like that. And we used the D69U Cat, known as the Bismarck, for the boost. And the reason we have to do this, we got to get this trailer out of the shop to see how high it is at the top of the door there. So then you allow snowpack where the green forklift is sitting, then the trailer becomes too high and it'll rip the top of the door frame off or whatever. We did that a couple of years, no, five years ago we did that. So we know that. So we should have done this the other day when it was nice and sunny, but the boss was all worried about his coffee table. Oh well. Okay, I'm inside the new shop here, which doesn't have the roof. Okay, I'll move my Lily Tomlin mic there. So that my beard hairs or whatever filtering the sound so it sounds a lot better. So we're gonna put another trailer over this hole to cover it, but we gotta get this trailer out of the shop because it's sitting on the ground and it's close to the top. So we have snowpack out here. That'll raise the trailer up and it'll go out and hit the door. I don't know if that's working out or explaining, but you can see how we boosted the forklift from the D69U known as the Bismarck. We were working smarter, not harder because we knew it wouldn't start or whatever. So heat it, start it and move it. Well, we were very surprised that the Ford had the traction to get the van trailer right out of the new shop. So the staff got a little video, so I'll enter it here, in theory.
Okay, we knew that the screaming Ford would get stuck. Okay, so we have the D69U known as the Bismarck up and running for a little pull. So just like winter road days up on the winter road, using the toe strap, okay, hooked to the D6 cat, and we're pulling the screaming Ford to get through the ice fields and stuff like that. So we've done it long enough and enough times that the screaming Ford even has the cables onto the front axle because we want to pull the truck up and out of the ice fields, not trying to pull it straight across with the bumper or the frame hooks. Okay, so then we have the other problem in the back here. I'll slowly walk around. The staff did get some videos of some spinning wheels and stuff like that, which everybody around the world just loves, which makes total nonsense to me. But there we go. So the front axle is the only axle that has powered on it and it's welded solid. So there is no dry shop back here. Okay. So even if Rodney, I mean, Sir Rodney at West Trans makes me a dry shaft to go in here, but we already have it. There's no way to send power back to the rear end here because we welded it up after we smashed it up and blew it up back in March of 2020. All right, we better get back to work. The boss is coming. He's still grouchy about his coffee table. Okay, we're done for the day. Everything went good because we were well planned. We knew what to do and we didn't fart around in the wet, slippery snow or whatever. The tandem trailer is covering the pit in the shop because the roof is kind of pointless or whatever. The little green forklift still has the tire chains on because it has to get on the tow truck or the tilt deck truck when it comes to go south. The wheels are turned so we can put the heat on. And I think we're going to call it a day. And if I'm sober enough at 5 o'clock to walk the dogs, I mean the pony, I'll drive into town to see what Whoville is like. And as you can see the flag exercise in its natural state of being limp. All right, I've had enough. This was a successful day. The boss should be happy at us because we didn't fart around, get stuck, have dramas, break some chains and all that other crap. But oh well, this isn't Hollywood filming. Talk to you later.